Hey viewers, welcome to another game of Sketch for Pro Gamer. Today we're doing game 4 and maybe the last game of this um, Go for SC2 monthly final. This is the February final between Acer Nerd Show, who is the Blue Zerg in the bottom right corner, and Rox Titan, who is the. I think this is. Yeah, this is Green. The green Protoss in the bottom left. So as I said, the finals of the Go for SC2 tournament, which is apparently held every month. And um, yeah, we've seen uh, three of the games uh, already. Uh, yeah, go watch them if you haven't already. Um, yeah, I'm not going to spoil them. I decided so. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to say you who's ahead. Apparently it's not 3 to 0, so it must be 2 to 1. Anyhow, um let's turn on the production tab here. Yeah, we're still in the phase where everyone is just creating the same crap. Uh workers alone and then going into a gateway here. And there goes the spawning pool. So this time no cross positions are forced and they are spawning next to each other. Also the uh, drone scout going the other direction. So that's why we can see. Well we can also see by the fact that they aren't cross positions. But yeah if cross positions are forced it is pretty easy to, uh, to see that from the scouting patterns because people will just go all the way across immediately and did he actually already scout this? yes he did already see this uh, this hatchery um, and did see the uh, this spawning pool there so uh, yeah our uh, zerg player here already saw everything and actually has uh, vision over that as well. Um, switching back to the everyone cam here and we will be able to see whatever everyone else is seeing. So going for an early expand once again. The Zerg also going for an expand. Well I guess it's no longer a really early expand because both of them made their uh, unit producing structures first. Uh, one gateway going down here and uh, this is a forge. Yeah. Uh, gateway going down and uh, the spawning pool going down. Spawning pool already researching the speed boost and um, yeah we will see plenty of zirklings out I'm sure. For this moment, only like four zerglings. Yep. So, if people go for a uh, speed upgrade, it normally means that they want to have more than just the four. But we will have to wait for that. Again, a wall in, which is kind of standard, of course. And the zergling is holding the one gap in the line, through which the units can actually get out of this base. Because it's always nice to leave something open. Obviously you don't have to. You can actually wall it off completely. And um, yeah, remove one of the buildings later on if you really want to. But this way you don't lose minerals and it is generally a better solution. Zirklings holding the watchtowers here and... Yeah, a large number of Zirklings coming out now. 28 Zirklings on the field and 4 more in production. So not a huge wave there, but it is still a pretty decent amount. Um, yeah, this one sentry is going to, uh, going to uh, try to hold that off together with, I guess, these two Zealots. But this one Zealot is uh, going out there to be an advanced scout or something. Yeah, the sentry is going to uh, w uh, wall off the map. Uh, the, the oh, nicely done. That one actually 
yeah, actually one of them got detonated, but it only damaged the shields. So the shields are going to be able to heal back up. And again, a detonation there. Oh, going after the zealots here. And actually managing to break that quite easily. And oh, ouch, that hurts. There are 17 workers killed already. And yeah, the sentry is going to be able to hold off this uh, zircling force for a little bit. But the zirklings really don't care. Because yeah, <sighs> this is over, I think. That's kind of sad. Well, three three gateways coming in and might be able to produce some a little more of that. Uh, the sentries are going to be able to hold this off a little bit with the force fields, but not for long enough. And he's losing his gateways and his, his entire front area. Definitely not a good idea in the beginning of the game. What's he attacking? Oh, there's a Zirkling there. Okay, I didn't even see that. There are, were some Zirklings here. I guess they got killed. Yep. And yeah, this time not walling off the ramp, but actually wanting to rebuild here. Meaning that these Zirklings can now run into the base and speed Zirklings are so hard to catch. So, going to pick off a few more of these probes. And I thought the probe was going to build something over there, but apparently not. Only thing that can be built at this moment that would be useful would be uh, a forge. And I guess he's constructing that in the front of his base base. Obviously the gateways are useful but he already had three and that should be plenty for holding off this uh, this uh, threat. But yeah, cannons would be able to actually defend the mineral line a little bit more efficiently. But yeah, by this time the Zerg is going to uh, is going to be able to hold this off. A uh, desperation attack here coming out and it might actually work. I'm not saying that it doesn't but it is pretty easy to defend against that. Um, yeah more circlings going past that which means that now the Protoss player has to make this work. He has to get in here and get everything done. Taking out the creep tumors but they don't really matter. Another spine crawler, so that's five, sp uh, four spine crawlers, and um, yeah, two queens to uh, to transfuse them. And all in all, this is a pretty much unbreakable defense with the army he has at this moment. And yeah, we see that the nexus is coming back up, but it is um, going to be far from easy. At least prevented the. Zirklings from getting into his main base. So the probes are safe for now. Uh, 24 workers killed totally, and we saw in the last game. So I am going to. No, no, I, I won't spoil it, but. Um, in the last game, we saw that the workers killed was indeed what finished off that game. And um, yeah. Addicted has left the game. Very, very useful to know. Was probably one of the observers for the tournament. Probably one of the casters, if you're called Addicted. And going for another gateway. So how many gateways do we have? Five? Yep, five. And a robotic facility. Creating a war prism. The first few times I heard that, I thought it said War Prism, so Prison of War. And then I realized that it's a Warp Prison to warp in stuff. And uh, yeah, it's kind of a weird name because it's very hard to pronounce properly. Because of the double P, obviously.
But a war prison would be good uh, good enough as well. It's a prison that goes to war, or that's used in war, I guess. So, um, Mutilus coming in to finish up here. Uh, very smart choice, actually, because there are no cannons out. There are only a few stalkers out. But they are not going to be able to do anything about this because the mutilisk are just going to fly in, fly away when they come close. And um, yeah, as an attacker you have a whole lot easier job than as a defender. 53 workers killed now. Might as well just give up. But yeah, the Protoss player is going to attempt to make this work. The drones actually <laughs> getting the better of that army, so taking out the whole army with just the drones, and the war prism is going to go away. And yeah, because he couldn't get anything done with that little harassment, couldn't really make anything out of that, so... In case you haven't seen the other games yet, I will go on to game 5 now. And um, I recommend you watch those before you watch the final game. Anyway, I will see you next time. Hope you enjoyed. GG.